So a big part of trying to figure out how to do a particular climb isn't always necessarily how to do each move, but the sequence that you're doing it and how to climb a way that's right and appropriate for your body type and your climbing style. There's lots of folks that are tall climbers, shorter climbers, uh, male climbers, female climbers, everybody's body type is different and your climbing style is gonna reflect that. So watching Tiffany and Gaz both climb the same boulder problem, you'll see some evident differences in the way that they approach that climb. For example, when you're a shorter climber and there's a hold that you can't reach, the answer isn't always, you're too short, you just can't do it, or you have to get stronger. Sometimes it's a simple position. So for shorter climbers, you're gonna find the need to be constantly using very high feet that might be difficult for a taller climber to get that scrunched up. But for shorter folks, being able to kind of get your body kind of scrunched and then expand from that position can allow you to cover a whole lot of ground without having to be any taller or necessarily any stronger. Also, for a taller climber, it's okay to be using your reach as a big part of the advantage. If you can keep your feet low and be able to grab some other holds and advance your position upwards without having to jump or do that move dynamically, that could be a big bonus. Also, it's gonna be difficult for that tall climber, as I said, to kind of get into a real scrunched position. So maybe avoiding that type of move by using your reach and your extension rather than getting all scrunched up could be an easy way to figure out how to get around some of those difficult moves that you're encountering. So you'll notice as well, Gaz using some more dynamic moves, maybe skipping some holds, just really being able to kind of power his way at some points through these moves Tiffany may be having a more technical, delicate approach to the climb, perhaps making more moves, adding some additional feet, things like that, so that they're both able to climb the same boulder problem, using the same holds and likely the same feet, and it'll be about the same difficulty if they figure out how to climb it in a way that fits their body type. But sometimes there'll be a climb that might be really difficult for someone and really easy for another person simply because you're a different type of climber. Maybe you are taller or you are shorter. It doesn't mean it's gonna be impossible, it's just gonna be different. So feel free to really explore the different types of moves when you're climbing. Don't hesitate to get some high feet when you're a shorter climber and don't hesitate to really try to use the length as an advantage as a taller climber. If you're powerful, feel free to jump. Release those feet from the wall. Be very dynamic. And as a technical climber, maybe you can't do a ton of pull-ups. There's lots of ways you can use balance to your advantage very precise footwork, always moving nice and slowly with precision and kind of tic-tac your way up a route that someone might just want to jump and skip. So a couple techniques, good ways to kind of problem solve while you're climbing.